Pop high in the air. And this will be taken in by Longoria for the first down. The batter. Couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Stepping in, Justin Bohr. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. One strike now from Archer. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's feeling it out there on the mound. Just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Hey, we're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth no inning, and the pitcher needs only four Thank more you. outs for Real a no-hitter. Stepping up now, JT Real Muto. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The next 0 2. High pop up. And Morrison will make the catch, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Marlins. They trail it here, three to and nothing. Leading off for the Rays. Here's the catcher Wilson catcher. Ramos, 0 for 2 Wilson. on his line thus far. Ramos. From the stretch, driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. He's around first, heading for two, and he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sacrifice attempt here. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Now batting Center into the box fielder, Kevin, Kevin Kiermeyer. his prior history versus this arm 0 for 4. Hit on the ground down the first baseline but a foul ball here 0 and 1. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. Well, that's two strikes at the knees, and now you find yourself 0 2. I, I tell you, he's throwing the ball so well, you got to set your sights down low and look for any pitch down. A square to Bond, and it's popped up. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Swing and a liner. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. Evan Longoria is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. Here comes the 1-0. On the ground, softly towards second. Barehanded by Gordon. Touche, sir. So it's nighttime here in the Tampa St. Pete area as we welcome you back for the ninth inning in this one on MLB Network. Third baseman. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. How about it? Hitter, Here's Ichiro feet. now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now a swing and a fly ball. 
And no one will track it down. And Ichiro can't make contact as he falls behind 0-2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And Ichiro normally an opposite field hitter, but this time he pulls the ball well foul into the seats in right. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, we all know he can burn on a base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do when you've got a nice goose egg on your leg. It's tough to do like that. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him out instead of putting it in the seats. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Rojas. So coming to the plate, Miguel Rojas. He represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. The 0-1. Tap down the line. Foul ball, strike two. Now this crowd of just over 21,000 are on their feet. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, there's absolutely no debate as far as I'm concerned. He dominated this game, and he really never allowed the opposition to gain any kind of momentum. This was fun to watch.